Hello folks and welcome to another video. So folks, before I show you what I've actually bought in this lovely box, I want to explain to you why I've actually bought it. So guys, all of my uh, YouTube videos that I shoot mainly are done in our conservatory. Now, it's the ideal-ish place for doing uh, videos. Uh, it's got plenty of light and a fair amount of room. Um, so yeah, it, it's probably, it's the best compromise. Uh, only problem is uh, during sort of, uh, you know, if it's raining, you've got a lot of noise, so you can't really do videos then. Uh, sometimes the neighbours will decide to uh, cut the lawn and things like that. So again, that sort of can put pay to a, a sort of a afternoon's uh, video uh, shooting. But generally, it's uh, a good place. But I'm not sat in the most ideal position. Um, so the tripod's in front of me, guys, and. Uh, as you can imagine, tripods take up quite a lot of uh, floor space. So the tripod sat in front of me and there's sort of things behind with the uh, the Christmas booze as we got at the minute, guys, and uh, cat food and washing machines and things like that. So it's not the ideal uh, situation to shoot videos in. So uh, probably easier if I actually show you, uh, well, I'll change the camera angle and I'll actually show you the setup, guys. So uh, if you just bear with me, guys, I'm gonna change the camera angle over to that side. So guys, we've now changed the uh, angle. I'm now uh, on the smartphone actually, guys, with the Rode Wireless Go. So uh, the audio and the picture is going to change slightly, but I uh, uh, just wanted to show you the sort of setup, what we've got, guys. So at the minute, as you can see in front of me, I've got my Canon EOS M50, and the audio uh, would have been coming from the Rode Filmmaker kit, but it's actually coming from the Rode Wireless Go at the moment. But anyway, so that's the setup. So what we have is the Canon EOS M50, on my rather aging uh, slick 88 tripod so uh, again as you can see guys I'm sort of not sat um, sort of up to the table I'm more sat sideways onto the table guys so it's a, a little bit difficult and it's uh, I'm gonna have a swig and be tea by the way guys cheers and you can probably hear one of the cats shouting his mouth off uh, anyway guys so I'm sat sort of sideways on and it's not the most comfortable position so uh, what's in this box is hopefully going to change this a little bit. But uh, as you can see, guys, it's, it's not the ideal setup. As I said, it takes a lot of space up. So I'm hoping, guys, that uh, the setup is, uh, or this new bit is going to um, hopefully improve the setup, guys. So uh, anyway, that's uh, what the setup looks like at the moment. So now what we're going to do, guys, is uh, switch back to the other camera and then uh, hopefully going to... Uh, show you what we bought so guys we're back on the canon eos m50 so you see we're back on my original setup so i think it's about time we actually showed you what i bought in this uh, box so guys this is what we've got it's a very very small tabletop tripod by a company called newer or newer now uh, the model number is, let me just get a bit of paper out guys, so the model number is an M521 uh, tripod. Now it might uh, be under a different number, um, I think it's pretty generic I think, although this is a newer one, I think there are uh, several uh, types of this one. But this is the newer one, newer, newer, I don't know how you pronounce it. There are two versions of this, I think. This is the more expensive version, but this was actually um, one of those Amazon uh, lightning deals. So uh, it's very easy, I'm going to actually show you from this position. I'll try and sort of give you a quick uh, rundown if I can. So this is in its folded position. So that's, you know, so it's quite, uh, quite tiny guys, that's in its folded position. So to unfold it, we just literally pull that over so and you've got to uh, let's go right down again let's go down to more like that so just click it so that's coming into its unfold i'm trying to uh, watch what i'm doing and ooh, watch on the camera as well odin's come to help so that's in its sort of unfolded position guys let me just uh, zoom out a little bit with the lens so guys here we are we've zoomed out a bit now to give you a, a better view so uh Basically, 
that's sort of it in its that's more like it so that's uh, sort of it in its position so we're gonna have a look at the top to start with so uh odin's come to pinch my cake my cake have you get your own cake so what we've got on top guys is and you can see that there we've got a ball head on top with a little clamp here so we just literally do that and then clamp it up that's my cake i got cake guys yeah i got tea and cake that's a surprise isn't it so uh, that's the ball head and it's quite good on this by the way well you can see it but you can actually pull that out to uh, change positions and uh, it's a game guys why uh, I want to change position because as you can see uh, who's that that's Dio over there having a feast but uh, so we've got a little mini ball head well, it's not that mini actually and you can actually rotate the ball head sort of uh, that way around from left to right and then you've got the actual you can change position like that so uh, just a standard sort of ball head what I like about it, we've got a, a quick release plate. So I don't know why you can actually see that, guys. I'm trying to watch the demo as well as uh, making sure you're in shot. And you can also change the height. If you undo this uh, ring here, you can change the height. So yeah, it's quite good. And uh, for the legs, well, it's just the usual um, twist lock. So twist it, lock it. Yeah. So it's just that usual, you know, they're sort of a normal twist rock leg. So twist it once, pulls out once, uh, twist it again, pull it out again, twist it out, and it will come out four times. So you get, uh, I think it's about 51 inches, guys, I think it will actually go up to. So that's the actual newer tabletop tripod. And I'd be, I'm surprised actually how well it's actually constructed. It's, that's a fair bit of weight to that, guys. So in its sort of a folded position, we just that makes sure that's right down. On, you can sort of flatten that so it goes into your box wherever you want to go. Uh, just to show you the legs, so uh, they've got different positions. So you've got one position there, so I'm trying to show you just on the one leg. Pull this little lever or push the little lever, you go up to the next one, push it again, and then go right up to sort of that. So that, so if it was upright, that's its sort of angle. Yeah. But there you go, guys. So that is the, the newer tabletop tripod. So it's very well made, rubber um, on the hand grips and rubber on the feet. So there you go guys, that's what I bought. So what I'm gonna do now guys is uh, set this up, um, hopefully on my new sort of setup how I'm actually gonna shoot the videos in future. But uh, while I'm doing that guys, I'm gonna have a, a mouthful of tea and uh, to shove the cats off the table because uh, they're up here to help, but I'm gonna need some space. Anyway guys, uh, we'll bring it back when uh, I've sort of set everything up so you can take a look at uh, what uh, what the new setup's going to look like. So guys, that's the actual little tabletop tripod sat on the table. So the idea is that I will be sat basically here where my hand is and uh, we'll have the, the camera sort of somewhere on this table so I can adjust where I want it and then just change the focal length of the lens to suit wherever I'm sat. But the idea being that I would have it somewhere in that position. And then I've got all this area here that I can use to put my hands and cups of tea and chocolate obnobs when we have some. And uh, so that's the setup. So as I said, guys, I'd be sat here. Sort of a, there's a seat just here, you probably can't see it, but in just out of shot here, there's a, a, a chair which I will be sat at as opposed to normally I would be sat this side, so I would be sat here where my hand is, looking at the camera at a sort of a, a strange angle. So that's, that was the old setup, so this is the new setup. Now the beauty of this setup is going to be that I can now, I can change whatever angle I want on the tripod to suit you know, my sort of setup that I want to have, guys, or I'm just actually altering the tripod so we could have it. 
like that. How well can we see that? And just we could yeah, so we can all alter the height of the tripod. So I'm trying to keep it in shot uh, so we can be like that. Oop, that's not very straight, is it? So we can alter the height of the, um, let's just zoom out a little bit more guys so you can actually see what we're up to. So that's probably a better view. So whatever way we want to set the, the tripod up, we can have it further away or, or closer. And as I said guys, it gives me all this space here that if I'm sort of doing a, a demo, I can actually have it in front uh, of the camera easier. And also by using this, it will actually free up my uh, slick, which is now in my slick 88 tripod, so I can do um, different, you know, I can have a B-roll or uh, it'd be easier to swap if I want to show something. So that's the basic setup. So what we're going to do, guys, so I'm not sure, because with the because uh, we've got the cats, I'm not sure how stable that would be with the camera in that position. So I might, I'm going to have to have a play about with just with the angles and see which is actually whoop, better. You know, whether we have something, you know, have the, the tripod lower and then, you know, you have to, you know, we're going to have to change this. Uh, maybe we, you know, we, whoop, by having, you know, we might have to have the legs at different heights and, you know, we, it's, it's all about, um, it's probably a bit wide, but you get the idea guys, it's, it's once I've sort of set it up properly, then uh, that's probably a little bit low, so we might have to go something like that. It's difficult to uh, keep the lenses, not that's probably a bit, but I've got to adjust these to the, to the height. That's brilliant that, isn't it? <laughs> you know, you have to adjust these to give us the, you know, a, a proper, you know, um, that one's got to come out a bit more. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know why we can see that. But it's, I want it to be stable. And obviously this, where the camera uh, sits. Let me just turn you up a little bit, guys. Let's just go that way a little bit. So up here where the camera sits has to be on my uh, eye line, which is probably just out of shot for you guys. But that is the basic setup. But the the positions of the legs and the and this is all going to have to be um, sort of played about with and uh, sort of set up. Because I want it to be stable, and that seems to be the most stable. And obviously, it gives a little bit of height adjustment with the with the centre column. But that seems to be probably they're all fully extended and top. But that seems to be the most stable. Anyway guys, I'm going to have a little play about with this and uh, set the camera up and uh, then I'm going to bring you back when uh, we're actually uh, using this setup and uh, we'll give it a try guys. So uh, just bear with me one moment. So guys, here we are. Really? Right, we'll try that again. Yes. I'll try that again. So guys, here we are. We're now sat in the new position and uh, straight away it just feels just much more relaxed and, and much more comfortable. Um, the background for a start of is, is not as cluttered. It's a relatively tidy background and uh, we're not showing all the, the cat food which would be sort of over there in the washing machines and all that. It's just a much tidier uh, setup and uh, probably going to be much easier to set up. And also guys, if I wanted to actually show you something, um, you know, I can have it in front of me. So if I wanted to show you this very, very interesting Philips TV remote control and uh, all it uh, does with that so this is one of them remote controls you can turn the telly off with them yep so i wanted to show you something guys like that then uh, it's all nice and neat on the on the table in front of me i've got me a uh, tablet in front of me guys which i'm using just to monitor the picture and also i can check the audio and uh, such like so uh, I think this is uh, the perfect setup, guys. So uh, let me just change the uh, angle again on the camera. So uh, and change cameras, so uh, you can actually get a better view of uh, the the setup, guys. So uh, just bear with me. We'll just swap over to the other camera. So guys, here we are on a slightly different uh, camera angle. So uh, this is the setup, guys. So uh, when you see again the Canon EOS M50 uh, in front of me on the tabletop tripod, and it. Uh, it's sort of arm's length and it feels quite sturdy. I'm not uh, 
sure whether I trust it with my uh, Nikon D810 with a big lens on it, but to be fair, that's quite uh, quite sturdy. So uh, this is the setup. So uh, you know, I've got a lot more space, and as I said, if I wanted to demonstrate something to the camera, which I can do that. Uh, you know, I've got this, and I've got room for my tea and chocolate obnobs, if we had any. But uh, this is going to be the the new setup, guys. Um, hopefully. Uh, it'll make things easier and again if, if I was only going to do something small to the you know to a piece of the camera it would be uh, very easy to do that guys anyway let's uh, switch back to the other camera now and uh, we'll uh, do our closing piece so guys we're now back on the the new setup so uh, it's it's going to still need a little bit of tweaking um, sort of adjusting where I got the the camera maybe a bit uh, further back maybe a bit closer but uh, as they say, it's going to be a work in progress. So uh, I think this is going to work out uh, rather well. And again, as I said, if I can show things on the table in front of me, it works an absolute treat. And uh, one of the other things it's done, guys, it's released the, the um, which is sat out of shot there, the, uh, the old slick 88 tripod. Um, so unless I'm actually going to shoot, you know, uh, or need to change camera angles or even have two cameras, um, it will make the setup a lot easier. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing uh, going forward, guys. It's going to be the new setup. So uh, hopefully it's going to look better and hopefully uh, it will work much better for me, guys. Anyway, that's it uh, for this little video, or perhaps not so little video. So uh, thanks for watching this one, guys, and we will see you all on the next one. So bye-bye for now.